Hello and welcome to this edition of Big Scott 35. Uh, today we're going to be going over uh, pickups, eBay, uh, card show uh, from a few weeks ago, and a uh, sport lots. I kind of go, I always go over, you know, what I pick off of there once a month uh, after I do my sales. And uh, that little uh, another. 2020 set pickup so let's take a look and see what I got all right first thing a little quick I I did a, another box break for uh case break for update um this was a uh, i believe three jumbo cases uh got in it relatively cheap or really cheap i should say because i tell y'all we i i uh, look for a certain price so i think uh with shipping it was less than twenty dollars i think i got it under twenty dollars so these are the bigger cards i picked up andre jimenez prospect and these are going to be mets cards believe it or not and I think this guy has a bright future. Uh, one of my all-time favorite players, David Wright. That 85 is a pretty cool card. And then these are just a couple. I got the rainbow of uh, Mazurik. The uh, gold rainbow of DeGrom. Gold Rainbow of Nido. And then the uh, 1970s Decades Best of Tom Seaver. Which is not a huge card, but I just thought it would be fitting since we have not so, too long lost him. So, And next is going to be... Uh, so I sell on, on sports lots. I call it, you know, I've, I've joked about it being penny slots. Uh, you know, I, I, I don't sell anything really big on there. Um, my plan is probably right before spring training starts, start putting stuff on eBay. Uh, if everything kind of, I haven't heard a lot of horror stories, but that's my plan. So this is what I do as I sell and I've been working on my Mets project. So I pick up these uh, 60s Mets cards, sell a bunch of cheap ones to pick up some vintage, modern cards for vintage, Choo Choo Coleman, this stuff's not cheap, I can tell you, and the height of short prints, man those cards, even just no name guys in that one. This is a pretty cool one. Uh, Casey Stingle, Ed Crane Pool. I know in Mets fans, that's a pretty cool card. Mike Joyce. Al Jackson. Jim Hickman. And I got another batch I'm waiting to come in from uh, this, uh, I believe this is the yeah, 64 um, tops. And uh, like, it, you know, I don't collect a lot of vintage, so I'm learning a lot while doing this, learning players and all that. Of course, I was not living in the 60s. Uh, but uh, I got another lot coming in and that would complete, that'd be my first 60s complete year. Um, 63, I am missing um, Gil Hodges, and then in the 62, I'm missing like two cards, and I can't remember, or three cards, I can't remember what they, they're the high end, high number, uh, pricier cards, and uh, I'm not going to pay your arms. That's something I'm going to probably have to pick up in person raw out of a book, where these vendors a lot of times have those in books, and it'll be pretty beat up. Then I went through and was looking for some of the update and other stuff that I didn't have for this year. 
I have this one, but I have one for my T set now, and I have to have one for my Gary Carter set. It's kind of funny. <laughs> Strawberry. These are like the legend short prints. And then here is uh, some just update that I picked up. No big deal. I mean, I don't have to go through all of these. It's just Mets. I uh, hate to bore y'all with that, you know. For some reason, they, I, this card here, I see, saw it on a, uh, About the Hobby or something like that podcast on a, on their Wednesday show where they were talking about this card. And I was like, you got to be kidding me. Tops is hurting this active leader thing. They could have done so many better <laughs> inserts where, you know, where they did the tops nail back to spring training or second summer training. That would have been a better insert than this. I, I that I don't understand it. Or the all star greats just to fill out, and they're not inserts. They're actually part of their base set. So, Frank Thomas. Legends card, which I already had, but like I said, I, if I go through and I see it, this is my second Gary Carter. I told you I have had two. Uh, it's Cal Ripken. I did not have. And what I do is, so that guy had the Frank Thomas and the Frank Thomas card, and then I went on his site and I saw the Gary Carter, and then I saw this card. I was like, well, heck. And then, you know, it's just a good way for me to pick up cards I don't have and cheap I mean less than a buck to get three cards and it was like a dollar shipping so for like two dollars got three cards Cal Ripken short print legends card another one for the same year one's an update and this one's series two And again, those, these three are from all the same seller. I found something. And then, you know, I'll look to see if they got a Mets card that I need for my flagship project that I'm working on. So, always working on that. Next is going to be uh, a few weeks ago. I went to, uh, about two hours away, there's a card shop. And I talked about picking up a, uh, a box from this guy. And, uh... He also has boxes and boxes, a lot of good, like, 90s stuff that I don't see anywhere else. Early 2000s for cheap. A lot of times it's, like, three cards for a dollar or whatever. The more you buy, of course, the more. And then he gives you a discount on top of it. Well, these are the cards I picked up in there. Uh, there will be some cap stuff here. Um, this is Ovechkin, if we can get this to zoom in properly another nice Ovechkin artifacts card so I usually get like I don't know 20 30 dollars and he knocks off a little bit more and then he gave me a great prices on the two boxes I bought I bought a box of hockey and then I bought a box of tops chrome and then we chit chatted about the prices of boxes and how he was going about, because this guy does a lot of boxes. He acts tables for box breaks. He'll record them for his Facebook page. Uh, this one I really like. John Carlson Allure. And this was, and I couldn't believe that I found it. I mean, it's just a beautiful card. I mean, you know. Hockey's one of those sports where the the big card, the big names are the only ones I guess that make money. But and rookies, but John Carlson for Caps fans, big card. Then uh, filled in some David Wrights, and he has them by team, and then he also has them uh, by stars. So I usually go to Mets box and then I go start rummaging through the stars boxes and a lot of these Mets, uh, a lot of these rights were in a Mets box. You know, a bunch of 
90s and early 2000s that I just, I did not, I was collecting, but I just didn't have a lot of this in my area. If it wasn't base tops or upper deck or whatever was still making just basic cards, it was tough for me to find it. Uh, Piazza, which was in the Mets box. Look at upper deck, UD Choice, just beautiful card. Look at that blue for that Mets. Love finding Piazza and the Mets stuff. Another, to me, a beautiful card. Just, you know, I don't, I'm not going to take the time to look at the years of all of these, but, you know, just the detail in all these cards. I, and, you know, I think a lot of it was because of competition, and they just don't have competition. They're not competing against them anybody i bring it up i i used to be a huge wrestling fan i am still somewhat but i don't watch it because when wcw left wwe just fell off and all they want to do is sell toys and enlarge their empire and it became a cartoon again and uh it wasn't very entertaining and mcmahon doesn't listen to his fans so i just tune it out now AEW's back and whenever they get fans I'll probably start watching it a little bit more steadier I keep up with it online love these power players I'll pick these up uh, when I can I got a Frank Thomas like this and I believe Kyle Ripken maybe uh, I love his perennial all-star ones too man beautiful card I just love that just I just man I think tops the, you know they brought back that finest and I think in a year that wouldn't have been a year without flippers, that that box still would have sold out fast and would have been great on the secondary market. Because it gotta be still great on the secondary market if people want it and that product just rocks, man. Uh clinic, clinic, clinic. I'll see it right in a minute. Uh the guy that I've been watching, he was a Met, now he's a Mariner, terrible trade. And now even worse, Robinson Cano out for a year. For PEDs, I think this is the second time. So the Mets should just cut ties with him. Carlos Cartez is still in their system. Um, talking about Top's Finest. Doc Gooden. And of course, you know, I have to get some Gary Carters. Gotta get the Carters. Love this. I pick this up every time I find it. Love this version of this, you know, 1970s remake. I think that is an auto out there floating around of that as well from that year. Uh, never seen this card before, and I just thought it was beautiful. Yeah, Gary Edmund Carter. From Legacy Cuts, uh, 82 Fleer, which a lot of people don't like. I, I love 82 Fleer. I love 81 Fleer, even with bad photography. It just uh, reminds me of the 80s. I was a kid of the 80s, and, you know, that's the way photography was in the 80s. <laughs> and then he had this set up by the register for like a buck or something and it was a it's a tops 91 or 94 i mean 95 preview set of like five or six cards and of course it had griffey in it and that was the reason why i got it mike Devereux, which that was i remember when that card first came out when i was around when that came out that was a card everybody looked for. Hernandez. And being in Baltimore area. We saw a Devere play, right? Larry Walker. Um, him going to the Hall of Fame. This card should be a pretty good card. Mike Piazza. I guess it was about 10 cards. Greg Vaughn. Love this card. Um, Sandy Alomar. In a mask. 
love that card. They redid some of those mass cards here in the last couple of years. Travis Fryman. But of course, it wasn't in their base. I forget what they did it in. Was it Stadium Club or something like that? It might have been short prints in the base. Travis Fryman, who was projected to be a really good ball player, had a good career. All right. So now I went, after the Lady Manette shop, I went to my last card show probably for a while. And uh, picked up a lot. Uh, dude uh, did a very good to me. On well, this one, uh, he's the same guys I see at every show. Ken Griffey. The uh, pandemic's got really bad here in Iowa. Um, I did go to another show. I just went in and gave, dropped off some cards to the guy I do PSA group submissions with and left. I started getting real antsy and just couldn't do it and left. Um, couldn't enjoy it. Got to pick up the gold cup, Jose Canseco. Very good. I mean, this is definitely a great option. He had a ton of them. Um, Pete Alonzo and the Diamond King frame. Could afford their rookie card. Which, man, if he comes back next year, that's the Conforto, the 60 games that we've been looking for as a Mets fan. Daryl Strawberry. Really like the Sluggers edition. Leaf Raider Rookie, Bo. And I kind of looked at this. The baseballs look centered. They're on the top edge. You can see it's a little whiting. Um, I don't know what that would even grade, but the centering is great on it, I thought. Just the eye appeal of it. So, that'll go into my first stage of grading. I don't know if it'll make it much past that, but also pick this card up, which I have a bunch of in my, my grading box, which one day I'll go over how I do that. I just purged a lot of stuff out of my first stage of PSA yesterday. And it went on sport lots. <laughs> love that bow jacket. Look at that bow. And then, of course, love the Diamond Kings. Daryl Strawberry. Straw. Straw Man. Which has many meanings when you talk about the Mets guys <laughs> from the 80s. <laughs> and then the uh, Chipper Jones rookie card, man. I picked, like I said, I picked that stack up, I believe, for $12 at the show. And then uh, that same show, uh, there's a guy I do a lot of business with. That's who I sold my uh, Mike Trout rookies to. Uh, pick up a lot of auto stuff from this guy. He's actually the guy I do my group submissions with. And I showed these off on my Instagram when I got them. Uh, Blade, 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 and a 10 Chrome. Uh, number one draft pick, or number two, because I got the number one as well from last year in an Adley Rush Rushman and uh, got a good deal on these I feel like I did because I think these two cards have you know in the day I say I'm a collector but of course you always want your stuff to go up and you, we're, we always talk in terms of money and value I'm high on these two guys and I think their value can only go up and uh, you know let the flippers get the what's his face from the Yankees and I'll get these guys because I think <laughs> they got a better better shot and then my big boy pickup well let me talk about this real quick I teased it in the beginning 
Uh, this is the complete set from Target, their second. Um, it has plus uh, and two plus or and two plus five rookie image variation cards. Uh, so this is my second set of this. Um, I don't know what that two plus five rookie image. I don't know. Oh, and this has got the Chrome Rookie Image Variation card in it. So, a little bit different. I don't know if I'll... I got, I got another one over there, too. And I just don't know if this is going to be something I open or not. It's, you know, 2020. I just wanted some cards to kind of commemorate. And I got it at Target for the price $49.99 or $59.99, whatever. Was not going to overpay for the set. That was just ridiculous the, you know the walmart you know tops knows what they're doing the flippers went crazy and want they put those ones in walmart knowing darn well what was going to happen and those cards you know did not last on the shelf long and then this is my big boy card i got i mean it, pete alonzo cards coming down like rocks they're just sinking fast uh this is a nine the uh 10 on this gold i believe goes anywhere from four to over five hundred dollars uh i had i got this uh 90 dollars shipped and it was priced at at one time for 175 then he came down to 150 i sent an offer for 75 we went back and forth again and I got it for 90 which I was shooting for less than a hundred uh, and then again I probably and when this is all said and done with this I probably overpaid but it's a 41 out of 50 for the Pete Alonzo again nine gold and I just got this in the mail today. I mean, and this guy took his time getting it to me. I don't think he had it on there. And I'm just being patient. I am waiting these people out uh, that are on here on this on eBay. And I mean, I need a black. I need a Meyer purple. I need a Father's Day in the paper. And I believe I got them all on that one. Uh, and they're just just stupidly priced i'm not going to pay crazy price for a guy that's been in the league for two years and you don't know what the future holds so like our our friend to the hobby eric at those back pages says it is a marathon it is not a sprint so you know if i don't get them oh well and if i do find them at a price that i'm willing to pay then that's okay too so with that being said, leave a like, share. If you haven't subscribed, uh, please do. Um, you know, I, I try to put out a couple of videos a week, sometimes more, sometimes less. Uh, I'm working on uh, getting my stuff together in my room. Hopefully uh, next week I'll have a room tour. Um, I get a lot of people remarking about my room on, uh, a lot of times. And... Uh, so I'll do a room tour. I haven't done that in a while and I've done a lot of upgrades to the room. So I'm excited about that. So until next time, see ya.